guys welcome on back to tk's garage and you can see here today i am on nellis air force base and today we're going to be doing a military lot walk around now on a post like nellis because it's not really huge i don't know what's going to be available or what's going to be there but we're going to look and see we're going to take a look see what's for sale you know see what the deal is and kind of go from there but uh we're, we might also go by the exchange and i like the exchange here it's probably one of my favorite ones um even though it's not huge but we're gonna go check it out and see what's going on maybe we'll go by the flight line and see if there's any operations going on today maybe we can watch some touch and goes whatever but let's go ahead and get into it <clears throat> all right man y'all were asking me about the monster y'all see it right here still looking crispy and clean a little dusty on the front in the rear we might have to go get her cleaned up today but still that amazing fa green that you don't really see anywhere on you know like this so uh it's been handling well out here in the desert heat or desert desert cold i should say anyways we're out here looking and the first vehicle we see is a mustang now i already know y'all gonna be like why tk but i don't think this is an eco boost this might be uh i mean the tires look really fat on the rear like they do something with this one does it have a pony on the uh it's an eco boost you can always tell because if you look close down here at the bottom let me zoom in you'll see the pipe comes in the pipe is really small and then it just gets fat at the tip <laughs> done ah so this one is for sale it's an eco boost it doesn't even have the ford sink it's got the little display but that is what it is 2019 mustang eco boost um 2.3 liter turbo inline four 20 000 miles they want 26.5 for it Ugh. that's probably what they owe on it Ugh. that's rough all right <clears throat> let's look and see if there are oh there's a couple other things over here you guys always ask me about motor homes and rvs and stuff like that and yes they actually do have motor homes and rvs here <laughs> like uh the ones that are here are not just sitting here for storage now the one over there is storage now this one here is for sale though let's see what this one is all about bryson okay uh, 2012 coachman marauder He's asking 49,000. Whoo! Whoo! 49,000. You tripping. I don't know. Maybe they have like marble countertops or something in there. I, I, I don't know. But 49,000 for that? I don't know, man. I don't know. <coughs> you guys are going to have to tell me what you guys think. Oh, and it's registered out of Florida. So that's an easy title swap. More than likely, it's electronic. I do like Florida transactions because if it's an electronic title, um, you can get it swapped um, by doing a couple things online between you and another person. And boom, they swap the title for you. And you can get it mailed to you or whatnot. Oh, it does have the camera system for the blind spot and the backup. That's cool. But it's a Ford V10. It's a gas. If it was diesel, if it was diesel, I could probably justify the 49 grand but right now no hell no Forty nine thousand for gas nah that's ridiculous all right let's see what else we got here all right let's see this looks like a toyota solara doesn't look bad i know that you guys are seeing sun right in your face right now i'm sorry about that it is just morning here oh wow hey this is not bad though look at this i mean now it does have the oxidated you know fogged up ass headlights but you could fix that in, in a day right this is a 06 
Solara, right? New alternator, new battery, which means they were probably having charging issues. And they're selling it for $3,450. Now, to me, now I don't know what an 06 book's at. I guess we could look up the book value later. But to me, the paint, I mean, it looks like crap because it's got all the desert dust and stuff on it, right? You got a little scrape. Somebody nerfed the front end right there. All right, I see that. Tires look good. Rotors don't look like they're all beat up. How's the interior look? Seats are not all tore up. I don't know if y'all can see that, but got one little split in the driver's seat up top. But look at that red. That red pops, man. Yep, he got nerfed on the rear bumper. I mean, if you I'm not saying that, that this area is not an actual city, but yeah, if you're if you're running around uh you know, Las Vegas proper, you're gonna get stuff. People are gonna, especially if you park on the street. But overall, oh, I see one little dent right here, right here on the wheel well. All right, so thirty-four fifty might be a little high. Like the if it was just scrapes, if it was just like little nicks or scrapes or something, I could see. Um, I could justify you know just patching that you know like just going over that stuff and then a the little dent by the door i don't know if you see that because i know someone's gonna say tk what about the dent by the door yeah i see that too right there but <clears throat> that's nothing some quick body filler because you're gonna have to paint right and, and go over a couple of this body fill blend in spray around a couple spots clean it up now this is not a car that you're gonna buy and flip this would be a car that you you know at this price point it would be a car that you'd buy and keep I don't know. It might be too much. Damn! Look at the monster over there, man. Look at look, watch watch. It'll draw a crowd. People will be over there. That's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We got another vehicle over here for sale. Let's see what's up with this one. And this is a 2014 Toyota Highlander Limited, all-wheel drive. <clears throat> They're asking $23,999. I don't know if that's a bad price or not. Fully loaded. Comes with everything except an entertainment system. DVD player, AC, heated front seats, all weather floor mats, panoramic sunroof, lane departure, adaptive cruise. Damn. Only Family outgrew it. That's why they're selling it. So they got a bigger one. Damn, man. Pull out, bro. Pull out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Pull out. I need to I need to get the robot voice from like Airbus where it's like pull up, pull up. My pilots will laugh. They know exactly what I'm talking about. Pull out, pull out. All right, this thing looks clean. I see the oxidation starting on the headlight there, but that could be cleaned out. You could get that cleaned up. They look like they're brand new. This thing does not look bad at all, man. This thing does not look bad at all. <clears throat> and they bought it from Infinity of Beverly Hills. Look at that. <coughs> so they bought it as a used vehicle or a lease return. Ooh. Is that a... Yeah, it looks like a chip or something on the rim. That's... Or it might have been where there was a balancing weight or something on it. And it came off. But this looks clean. I mean, it clean for what it is. You know, it's got... I see the scratch right there. It's got dust and stuff over it. That's what happens here in the desert. Your shit gets dirty. <laughs> like just <laughs> if you park it out here for a couple of days you're going to have a coat of dust on it oh look they even got the beverly hills uh license plate bracket and stuff on it yeah man <clears throat> got all the trailer stuff it's got the the hitch so it, you could probably pull i mean i don't know man i don't think this is bad i don't know about the price again this is not something you're going to buy and flip this would be something you buy and keep but I know some of these fully loaded, loaded Highlanders go for a lot of money. And this is a 14, so it's six years old. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. Is the price too high or not? And we'll go from there. But, yeah. Eh. All right, so we're going to go out. We're going to look at a couple other things while we're here. I just wanted to remind you guys that I think, what is today? We have a little bit it's very close probably by the time i publish this two weeks left before 
we either reach 50,000 subscribers, which doesn't look like it's going to happen, or one of the members here on the channel is going to win the Black Mamba. Now, I had a lot of people commenting and asking, well, what if I'm in Canada or what if I'm in Mexico? If you're in Canada, I'll meet you at the border. I'll literally deliver the vehicle to you at the border. You can come across, take it. We'll sign the title of the paperwork and you should be able to go back into Canada. Minus, they're probably going to tax the shit out of you. But um, <clears throat> Mexico, same thing. I'll do the same thing. But I think the southern border is closed still. So I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll figure it out. If you're somewhere else, um, here's what I'm willing to do. If you're in like the UK or something, we'll ship it. I mean, I'm not paying for the shipping, but I'll ship it if you want it. Gas prices over there are outrageous. Good luck to you. Um, or we'll take it to CarMax and we'll let CarMax give an appraisal and I can either sell it to CarMax or cut you a check for the exact amount uh, that CarMax or another dealer quotes on what its value would be or what they would buy it for. I think that's fair. That way, <clears throat> my members from other places aren't, don't feel like they're being left out or just stuck you know what i'm saying so there is that but any who's let me know what you guys think um about what you saw today i got one more thing to show you but let me know what you about what you guys think in the comments below now you can always tell when something's been sitting a long time now i don't know if that's a real gtr but there is an r on the uh grill there in the front this thing is covered in desert dust covered it's got the bbs rims right it's clean it <laughs> it came from florida big old fart can on the rear huh it's clean I mean, it looks, it looks, it looks cool. It looks cool. Paint cracking there on the front. Huh. 2,500. What do you guys think? It's been sitting so long. Look at the wipers and stuff. The kid that had it probably deployed and it's been sitting here for probably a couple of years. But 2,500, what do you guys think? Is it worth it? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Alright guys, so we're down here by the flight line. This, if you didn't know, is the home of the Thunderbirds. That's like the uh, Air Force's edition of the Blue Angels. Now we all know that the Blue Angels are the best. I don't need to I don't need to get into a whole argument or nothing like that, but you know, the Blue Angels are the Blue Angels, man. Oh, they got the flight crew going out to their planes now. Look at that. But the Blue Angels are the Blue Angels, man. That's all I can say about that. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the 90s Bulls with Jordan or the 90s Bulls with Jordan. You can't really, you know what I'm saying? I mean, let's just keep it a buck. Let's just keep it a buck. Mm. So we're going to roll down here because I got one other thing I want you to see that I think is uh, pretty cool. I know my exhaust sounds really good. Look at that M3 over there. I see you with the fat tires. I know what you do with that. <laughs> he be getting them digs in. Woo. Look at that S7 over there. Woo. All right, guys. So a couple of other cool things I wanted to show you before we leave here today. It's always cool looking at the old equipment that still looks dangerous as F. Old Iraqi made. Got a missile on. That's my laser, sorry. Look at that. Another one. And then look at this. Look at this right here, man. That's ridiculous. And then coming up here, we have a couple of the old retired jets. I love how they do this out here, man. I mean, I will say this, the Air Force does probably do this better than anybody else. 
but they just put these things out here. That thing looks crazy, right? That thing still looks dangerous. Beast, beast, <laughs> beast. I don't know. I, to me, I think the F4 Phantom looks the nastiest of all of them out here right now. Like the F4 Phantom is the absolute shit. Now I already know the A10 is a monster. Y'all looking at this A10 right here? I know. You know, army guys are gonna say A10, A10 because they be the A10 be saving y'all's ass. But look at this, another MIG. I wonder where these MIGs came from. I wonder if they were like defectors. You know what I'm saying? Or what? Or they just used them as like <coughs> training pieces or something. You know what I'm saying? Mm. tank though that tank though all right guys <clears throat> i kind of just wanted to take you around post today we wanted to get that little bit of a military lot walk around in <laughs> evidently they don't, they don't have a lot for sale here but you know it is what it is i wanted to show you guys um a little bit about post out here or base as the air force likes to call it and um you know give you guys just an idea of you know what it looks like out here and some of the cool stuff um that that they have going on out here. Uh, this is a this is a base where they do fly Raptors out of it. I was hoping to see if we could catch some uh, doing touches and goes. You know, because they got guys here that are still trying to keep they got, they're trying to keep their certification. So they will uh, constantly do uh, touch and goes and stuff here, and it's a good way to get a good look at at that aircraft. And I was trying to see if I could get some. Good, good look at it get, maybe get a couple young guys that are up there flying them things uh that are playing with them a little bit because sometimes you'll see them doing fun stuff with those raptors but um i don't see any flying up today it looks like the thunderbirds are about to go up though if they're going to go up here in the next you know 20 minutes or so maybe i'll hang around and try to get some uh get you guys some footage of the thunderbirds running around but if not if this concludes today's video uh please know that um i know i'm on my way to commissary too so i got time um the giveaway is ending on new year's eve so come january 1st i'll probably do the polling and announcement i'm probably going to be extremely shit based on new year's eve so pardon me if i don't do a live stream on new year's eve and go here's our winner i'll probably do it like january 1st um that said Anybody that becomes a member after the 31st, they're obviously not in, they're not act, act, uh, ugh, obviously not entered. So you have until midnight or 11:59 p.m. on January 31st to become a member here on the channel and operate with an opportunity to win the Black Mamba. I want to give a special shout out to that Chevy guy, Angela. I can't remember your last name and Mark Davis for becoming like the highest member level we have which is like $45 or $49 a month which is insane that is ridiculous I don't know what y'all are talking what you guys are thinking about now that level is for people that want custom in inspections and whatnot at Copart um, or like consultation on stuff so that is open to you guys if you guys saw it um, and I will try to do my best to, to, to give you some insight into oh my god look at that no. um, I was talking about a car man I was talking about a car <laughs> all right i'm gonna park i'm gonna go oh wow yeah you can tell it when i'm messing up when i when my boston comes out i'm gonna park i'm gonna go in here and i'm gonna see what the commissary is talking about uh see if they got any new deals or sales because it is christmas time you know but uh we're gonna go ahead and go in here into the exchange and and see what's good i hope you guys have an uh awesome amazing great day i want to thank you guys for sitting with me all the way through today's video it's not as long as some of our normal videos but it was a military lot walk around we do have some vlogs coming for you guys this week the family is coming out soon and it's gonna be absolutely crazy so make sure you stay tuned until next time guys thank you guys very much for watching i greatly appreciate it I would say this bud's for you, but it's a coffee. But I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.